Hello everyone, I'm going to introduce how to implement an AR tracking and 3D reconstruction using a series of 2D images. This project comprises three parts. Camera calibration, AR image tracking, and 3D reconstruction. First, we perform camera calibration using a standard chessboard. Took nearly 20 pictures of the chessboard with the camera. By using the functions in OpenCV, calibrate camera and get optimal new camera metrics. We will compute both our intrinsic metrics, the distortion coefficients, and the region of interest. These are the values we will need to project our images. Then, let's move on the AR tracking part. First, we use the function detect and compute of brisk future detector in order to catch futures in the reference image. And then we apply match function between reference image and other images. By calculating homography from these matches, we can get the pose, which means the rotation and translation. See the demonstration. I rendered a cube on the reference image. Finally, I want to reconstruct the object I placed next to the marker using a series of images. These pictures I took from different views. After camera calibration and pose estimation, we calculate the relative pose and feature matches between the first image and the rest. After that, based on the epipolar constraints and the frequency of features, we can remove bad feature matches. Then, in order to represent one measurement of the feature from the first image into a subsequent image with the rotation constraints placed in the index column, the last column represents the translation constraints. Quickly go over the code. Given the parameter filter future map, which is pre-processed, first I initialize a matrix M with all zeros, then looping through each track features calculate the rotation and translation constraints and assign to the correct index of the matrix. By taking SVD on this and taking the right singular vector, then get the depth of the same. Then compute the 3D position by this depth information and visualize the sparse point cloud. As you can see, there are two reconstructed objects. One is the reference and the other one is the tissue box. To justify the generality of the code, I made two datasets to test it. You can change the directory in the code.